All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So today, as you can see, we're going to be finding the center and the radius of a circle in standard form. So let's go back to standard form for a second. Standard form is different from center radius form. So standard form, we have ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to zero. Now, unlike center radius form, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, here it's very easy to see, oh, the center is h comma k, the radius is r. Here, it's not simple at all to say what's the center, what's the radius. So what we're going to be learning today is how to go from uh, center radius from standard form to center radius form so that we can easily find the center and the radius. So, okay, so here is our equation, x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 10y plus 46. Okay, let's just make sure we have everything. Okay, so the way we're going to do this, and it's going to get you the right answer every single time, is we're going to carefully set this up. We're going to solve using completing the square. Okay, I have a very specific way that I like um, students to set this up, and I guarantee you this will work every single time. So what we're going to start by doing is do some rearranging. The first thing we're simply going to do is take the number without a variable and bring it over to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, now we're going to set this up where the x's are together. Remember, addition is commutative, so we can easily take this and say x squared plus 10x. Now, we're going to say plus and then a blank. We're going to leave space. You can. I like to draw the line. That gives me the, you know, the ability to remember, like, oh, I need to put something there. Then we're going to bring in the y squared. Then we'll bring in the y term, so minus 10y. Again, we're going to put another blank. I said earlier we're going to be completing the square twice. So we'll be completing the square on x squared plus 10x plus blank. And then separately we'll be completing the square on y squared minus 10y plus blank. Now we have equals negative 46, but we're going to need to put two more blanks in. And the reason we're going to need to put two more blanks in is I'm going to be adding a term to this 10x, and I'm going to be adding a term to this negative 10y. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Okay, so we're going to focus in here on completing the square on the x squared plus 10x. And the steps are pretty simple. We've gone through this before, but I'll go through it again. We're going to take... And, and basically what we're going to get is we're going to get something in parentheses squared. And that something in the parentheses is going to be a binomial. So we're going to look at the variables. So since the variable is x, we're going to have an x. We're going to look at the sign. Since the sign is plus, we're going to have a plus. The next step is to take that number in front of the x, so for us that 10, and we're going to divide it by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we're going to get a 5 here. Okay, so you divide by 2 first, then you're going to take your answer and raise it to the second power. So 5 squared is 25. Okay, so just to go through that one more time, we took the 10, we divided it by 2, that got us the 5. We then take that 5 and square it, that gets us the 25. Okay, so let's change colors just so that we can see the difference. And now we're going to do the exact same thing to the y squared minus 10y. Okay, but this time our variable is y. Our sign is minus. So now we're going to divide. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 5 squared is 25. Now you'll notice I put a plus here and a plus here. And the reason for the both those numbers that we're adding in being pluses is anytime you square a number, you end up with a positive. There's no possible way to get a negative here. Now, there is a step that we kind of overlooked, but not really. We're ready for it now. We added 25 to this side here in pink, so we need to add 25 to the other side. Now, you can do this with one color. I'm just trying to show you where the numbers are coming from. 
We also added a 25 in green, so I've got to add a 25 to the other side of the equal sign. I've got to try and balance this out. Okay, so now my next step here is really to see what's going on. So what is negative 46 plus 25 plus 25? Well, negative 46 plus 25 plus 25, that's actually just the number 4. And so now what I have, and I'm just rewriting, I'm not doing anything else here, but I have x plus 5 squared, I have y minus 5 squared equals 4. Wait a minute, doesn't that look exactly like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared? I've been able to complete the square twice and actually take this circle from standard form to center radius form. And that's important because the question that I'm actually being asked here is what is the center and what is the radius? So we'll start with the radius, that's the easiest. If four is equal to r squared, then the radius must just be two. The center, remember we said there's a sign change. So it's like saying either negative h equals 5, so h equals negative 5, or you just think of it as a sign change, you're going to get negative 5. Here you have negative 5, so you're going to get positive 5. And you don't need to put that plus sign into delta math. Okay, so for our center, we got negative 5, comma, 5. And for our radius, we got 2. And there you go, that is our answer. Okay, so yeah, so they do what they call a magic number here. You divide by two, then you square. Divide by two, then you square. Okay, uh, and it's that simple. All righty. Any problem you get, it's going to be those exact same steps. Okay, so what you'll be doing is you will be rewriting, reorganizing, and moving each piece over. You'll be completing the square on the x's, completing the square on the y's, and then you will just be simplifying from there, and then you will have an equation now in center radius form, which will make life a lot easier. Okay, standard form is something that we occasionally see. This is going to come up in algebra 2 as well, um, and basically what happens is you see this equation in standard form, but you want to use it in center radius form, this is going to allow you to use the center radius form because in all honesty, x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 10y plus 46 equals zero. I have no idea what that looks like. But if you tell me uh, x plus 5 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 4, I know that the center is negative 5 comma 5, and I know the radius is 2. If I gave you a piece of graph paper, you could all graph that. If I gave you a piece of graph paper, none of you are going to be able to graph x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 10y plus 46 equals 0 um, until you put it in center radius form. So that's why it's so important to be able to go from one form to the other. Okay, and we have looked at this before again, um, but it's good to, to look at this again now. So uh, because again, it's going to be a very important topic in Algebra 2. So next week, you'll have a quiz on uh, all the different things we've talked about with circles over the last few weeks, uh, well, really the last week, and uh, that'll be it. That'll be our last um, assignment that uh, will be new work for the year. Um, anything else, we'll be just handing in any work that you've missed uh, and anything else. And if you have any questions, please get in touch with me via email. Hope everyone's doing well, and uh, we're almost there. Keep pushing along. Have a great day.